All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make a honey garlic sauce. And we're just gonna start off with, oops, uh, two cloves of garlic. We're gonna de-skin them. Skin them. All right, once we have all garlic peeled, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get it to a fine mince. I generally like a pretty fine mince for my honey garlic sauce, but free for you to do it however you want. This is good. So I'll start my pan up. Okay, so. For every clove of garlic you have, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna use one uh, half cup of fish sauce, a half cup of maple syrup, and a tablespoon of oyster sauce. If you don't have oyster sauce, you can replace this with soy sauce, and it'll be very similar in taste overall. So I'm just gonna measure out my ingredients while my pan heats up. So 150 is pretty close to 180. I'm just gonna add my oil into the pan. We just wanna cook it until it's a little bit caramelized, a little brown. All right, our garlic has brown a good amount. We can let it go for a little bit longer if we want, but I find that this is appropriate amount. So now I'm just gonna add our sauce mixture into it. And as simple as that, um, I'm gonna increase the temperature of my uh, stove top. And all we are gonna do now is just boil this into, it gets really, thick sauce really close to honey garlic. This is like one of the recipes that I've been trying to learn how to make for a very long time. Like uh, my wife Monica has always enjoyed eating like honey garlic ribs when she was, when she used to eat meat. And the one sauce that I couldn't make was this kind of sauce. So I'll find, I found a good alternative with maple syrup, garlic and fish sauce that makes it pretty close to the original sauce, but it's a slight little bit different. So I'm gonna increase the temperature. So I, I just want to everything to boil out. All right, so now we can see our sauce is starting to bubble a little bit more. And that means it's starting to, some of the moisture is, is starting to escape. And we can kind of see the level of the sauce kind of reduced quite a bit now. We, like, we definitely, really depends on how you want to eat consume your sauce. You can have a thinner sauce or a thicker sauce, but I generally prefer this honey garlic sauce to be like very sticky, so it tastes more authentic. All right, now we can see it's starting to really thicken up, right? It's been cooking down for probably 10 minutes on a pretty high temperature, and we can see the sauce is kind of thickening out. There's not nearly as much liquid. We can stop here, but I'm gonna take it a little bit longer than this, because I want just a nice, thick caramelly sauce. So once we've, once the sauce is finished cooking, I'm just gonna transfer it into the jar I had earlier and our honey garlic sauce is complete. Nice and simple. We definitely don't wanna let it sit on the stove while stirring too often because it's gonna burn the bottom. So we just wanna 
give it a good stir every so often. All right, so this kind of condensed down to quarter of what liquid we have. I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm gonna transfer it into my jar. So this sauce is extremely hot, be careful. So instead of just pouring, I'm just gonna slowly lay the oil. And we're gonna let this cool down to room temperature before we put it in the fridge. Alright, and that's our honey garlic sauce. Nice and simple, nice and quick, and nice and easy.